past master counselor here at Speedway, um, which is kind of like the past president of this chapter. Um, thank you everyone for being here. Um, we do this Patriots Day essay contest every year. This is our fifth year doing it. Uh, and this year we had 43 finalists for the seventh grade and 10 for the eighth grade. And uh, that was out of 100 uh, contestants or whatever you say. Um, but um, uh, in Dean Light, we uh, teach many things and uh, around the room we'll set up our seven cardinal virtues of Dean Light. And the seventh one is patriotism. Good citizenship is the only opportunity peace affords for this play of this virtue. Um, and uh, in our community, we strive to be a better part of our community uh, through doing things with uh, uh, Relay for Life and other organizations like that. And uh, without, uh, now we'll turn it over to Jacob. Okay, in third place for seventh grade, we have. Mr. Andrew Walker. In second place, we have Tyra, uh, forgive me, Frago. Came in so now I feel like inadequate compared to all the bright young minds who are here tonight. 
On that note, I'd like to give Mr. Grove an opportunity to talk quickly. If you have any remarks you'd like to make. Um, again, thank you guys. I'll just kind of echo what these guys said. Um, families, thank you guys for coming and tonight. And for the Speedway demo, thank you for just this this night and recognizing some of our kids. I mean, you know, it's interesting to see, you know, guys I had a class like Jacob and Ben, and uh, Jacob's always kind of had a strong interest in dictatorship and <laughs> autocratic leadership, so it's, it's nice to see you live that dream a little bit, Jacob. Um, but in, in all honesty, this is a great opportunity for us to have some of our kids express the talent that we see every single day, um, and to do it on such a, a topic as important as patriotism. Um, for parents, if you're not weren't 100 percent sure, the topic this year was a little bit different. You know, usually it's you know what is patriotism? What does patriotism mean to you? And this year was the focus is on the topic of citizen patriots. So not thinking of what we think of as patriots in the normal sense of members of our active military or our law enforcement, um, but thinking of how just we as regular citizens um, can be patriots and support those people who are in those roles sacrificing, making the sacrifices for us that they do each day. And I had the opportunity to read a lot of the essays before they were sent over uh, for consideration by this group and um, ultimately before the winners were picked. And it was just, wow, the, the, the things that our kids were able to convey um, and say about what patriotism is and what it means to be a citizen patriot Having an understanding that you don't necessarily have to be an active military to be a patriot and have love for your country and for the people who protect it. And so um, this is a, a, a no-brainer for us. It's a partnership that we've enjoyed the last few years um, and we hope to continue for many years because, you know, obviously we focus on the writing part of it, but the opportunity for our kids to, to take a topic and express their point of view um, as candidly and as vividly as they did in these essays is, is a great opportunity and one we hope to continue for years to come. So, um, you know, congratulations to our students, um, to you guys for winning, um, but again, for just taking the time to really put a lot of thought um, behind your essays, um, a lot of meaning into it, which is, you know, it was great for us to read and we're glad to see you guys get honored because We've got six incredible representatives here at Speedway Junior High School, and so we're, we're thankful for the opportunity to recognize these guys, and again, congratulations, and thank you guys for having us. Uh, moving forward here, tonight with us, we do actually have one of the judges who read and judged the essays that you guys submitted. So you're here, and you're able to put a face to the essays that you wrote. Um, and if you'd like to make any remarks. Uh, this lodge has been here since about 1947, and we're glad to have you all here. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of history in the uh, community. We are a uh, organization that uh, takes good men and we try to make them better. And in that respect, we open our lodge to the Demolay and the Job's Daughters, who are the youth organizations of the uh, the Masonic Fraternity of Freemasons of Indiana. And so I just want to say that I read all the essays, uh, 45, 43 of them, and I was uh, particularly blown away by everybody's essay. And it gets so hard to get it down to the final 10, the final three, and everything like that. So uh, it's just an amazing group of youth that is coming through the schools here at Speedway, and we're just glad to be a part of it, and glad to have you here this evening. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to use this opportunity. Uh, we mentioned a lot of things, Dean Malay, Freemasons, Job's Daughters, all these things that uh, some of you guys may not be as familiar with. Um, so yeah, if you guys, I mean, we're open to talk about it and discussions and all that. So after this, we're downstairs, and you guys have a question about DMLA and about getting involved, or if you're curious about it, or Joe's ours, or anything like that, feel free to come up to us, ask questions, we'll talk to you about it. Um, for DMLA specifically, you guys can also drop by our website, speedwaydmla.org, and get all the information you need everywhere from what is DMLA and just about us and what our purpose is, to applications online for membership and filling that out.